Today I am reviewing this two and a half pound lens from TT Artisans. This is the 90 millimeter f 1.25 and TT Artisan has released a number of very good lenses over the last couple of years and this one certainly belongs in that category. So let's start by seeing how it comes packaged. It comes in this large black box with an outline of the lens on the top. I should mention that this one is the Leica M mount version, but there is an E mount version, which I would definitely recommend over this one if you have a Sony mirrorless camera. So that way you don't have to deal with adapters. In this case, I have a TT Artisan M2E adapter that I'll be using. Okay, there is an instruction of focus, adjustment, insert, a warranty, card and a little flathead screwdriver for the aforementioned adjustment. The lens is tucked nicely in padded foam and it comes with a plastic rear lens cap and a metal screw-on front lens cap. The front lens cap is interesting. It's a screw-on but once you screw it on you can pull this entire cap off including the lens hood that is hidden at the front of the lens. Now to use the lens hood you'll have to unscrew the lens cap and flip it and screw it onto the front of the lens barrel which isn't the best integration of a lens cap and lens hood that I've ever seen, but both parts are high quality and made out of metal. The lens itself is a heavy chunk of metal and glass. I already told you it's just about two and a half pounds over one kilogram. And from a construction standpoint, it is solid. Tight tolerances, good materials and finishes, there's nothing to complain about. Starting at the rear, there is a metal lens mount. Again, this one is for the Leica, no electronic connections. This is an all manual lens. In front of that is a tripod mount, which is a smart idea given how front heavy this lens will make the average camera setup. 90 millimeter in yellow with yellow and white focal distance scale here, very much like any Leica lens. The focus ring is here. It's very smooth, very heavy, and very mechanical. It rotates about 180 degrees, which is a good thing because more rotation means more fine tuning ability. And at 90 millimeter and f1.25, that is needed. In front of that is an aperture ring that goes from f1.25 to f16 with distinct clicks along the way, which is great. The best part about this lens though is the front lens element. It is one giant chunk of glass. There is some info here, TT Artisan logo, lens specs, 77 millimeter filter thread and a serial number and you guessed it, DJ Optical dropping another mad LP. If you look through the lens, you'll see a huge diaphragm with 10 inwardly curved aperture blades, which you don't see very often. There are 11 elements in seven groups here. I ended up testing this lens on my full frame Sony a7C for three primary reasons. First, it's designed for full frame. Second, it's priced for full frame. And third, focusing this on an APS-C camera at the equivalent of 135 millimeters is not an easy task. So here are the results from my a7C straight out of the camera, no corrections, no editing. Wide open at f1.25, the results are good. There is adequate sharpness and contrast in the center of the frame, and even in the corners, it's not terrible. As you stop it down, it certainly does get sharper and more contrasty, but why buy a two and a half pound lens only to shoot it stop down? The colors are good, the sharpness even mid frame is solid, and the bokeh, oh, the bokeh. That is why you buy this lens. The bokeh, it's huge, it's smooth, and it's well done. There is a little bit of cat eye in the corners, but who cares? The depth of field is extremely shallow and it just cuts and pastes your subject into a messy blur of nothingness. It makes ugly locations irrelevant because you can't even see where you are taking these portraits. And when you nail focus, if you do, the results are amazing, excellent, superb, but not perfect. There is some chromatic aberration, some purple and some green. There's a touch of vignetting, not much, just a little bit. And there is a lot, I mean an absolute lot of flare, 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 and more flare. If you shoot this lens anywhere close to into the sun, with or without the lens hood, you will get flare city with rainbows and no butterflies. Okay, so it has uncontrollable flare and it has some chromatic aberrations and the bokeh isn't sigma perfect, but this lens is still a performer. I have a good guess of how a lens will perform once I take it out of the box and boy was I wrong about this one. I was expecting it to be a soft nightmare, but a couple of shots I had to double check my metadata to make sure that I was using this TT Artisan lens and not my Sigma 85 millimeter art. A couple of shots, don't go crazy down in the comments. I'm not saying that this lens is on that level of performance. I'm just saying that there are moments 
where it is absolutely brilliant. As far as using it out in the field and focusing it, my only complaint is not with the lens but with the TT Artisan adapter which was loose at the mount, making a little bit of movement each time you rotated and changed direction so get the e-mount version of this lens. Now when I tell you the price of this lens, please do not fall out of your chair. It comes in at $13,695. I'm totally joking, but that is the price of the Leica Similux 90mm f1.5, and this is an f1.25, also a manual lens, so this is quite a bargain by comparison, I think. See, that's the thing with these lenses from TT Artisans and Seven Artisans, is when you look at them and you compare them to other E-mount lenses out on the market, they don't make a whole lot of sense. But when you compare them to the original lenses that these are really based on and designed to be a replica, if you want to call them that of, then they are absolute bargains. This thing direct from TT Artisan comes in at $500 and I would recommend that you buy directly from TT Artisan because it's $100 less than Amazon and you don't pay taxes and there is free shipping. So definitely check that out if you're looking at buying something like this. Is this the absolute best portrait lens for Sony full frame for the money? No, it isn't. There are a lot of options out there in the 85 millimeter realm for about this much money or maybe even less in some cases that offer autofocus and they offer sharpness and performance that would blow this thing out of the water in a side-by-side -side comparison. But if you are looking for a rangefinder style manual focus lens that's very, very well built, all metal, all glass, that will give you Leica-esque design and possibly even Leica-esque results at a price that is $13,200 cheaper than the Leica, then definitely check this lens out. Uh, anyway, that is going to be it for my review of the 90mm f1.25 from TT Artisan. Special thank you to TT Artisan for sending this lens out for review. And thank you guys so much for watching, for all of your comments, all of your likes, and your support. Stay tuned for more. Links will be down in the description if you want to read more about this lens or check it out or buy it. So please check those out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.